onto this menu a delicious and easy recipe that's superb. Roasted pepper soup. Lei hey, Homa, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. It's still really chilly outside and nothing beats a hot bowl of delicious soup, but it's even better when the oven does most of the work. Preheat the oven to 375. Roughly chop one red, orange, and yellow bell pepper. Place the peppers in a large bowl. One sweet potato, roughly chopped. Half a red onion, sliced. These are amazing heirloom carrots, and of course you don't have to use colored carrots, just use regular carrots if you can't find these ones. Three small carrots, roughly chopped. Four pieces, unpeeled garlic. Just leave the garlic unpeeled. We're gonna peel them after we roast them. Now, last but not least, we're gonna put some amazing rosemary. Add in a few leaves, rosemary. One cup, canned chickpeas. One teaspoon salt. Pepper. Half tablespoon, sweet paprika. 3 tablespoons olive oil. Toss. Transfer the veggies to a baking tray. Spread the veggies out and bake in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Now remember, we have four pieces of garlic in there that's not peeled, so we're just going to squeeze out that delicious garlic. Remove and discard the garlic peels. Save some veggies for toppings. Transfer the veggies to the blender. Four to five cups veggie stock, depending on how thick you like your soup. Blend the soup on high until smooth and velvety. Transfer the soup to a stock pot. Heat the soup up to your desired temperature. Plate.
add on the toppings. Fresh cracked pepper. A drizzle of olive oil. And a dollop of coconut cream. You can now make this delicious soup with absolute confidence. Not only is that beautiful to look at, that is really just comfort in a bowl. Look at that. Mm. Man, that's delicious. It makes such a huge difference to set aside some of those toppings to add that extra texture so you're just not eating just liquid. Really, really delicious. I mean, the roasted chickpeas just adds that sort of meatiness and you have the sweetness and the extra texture from setting aside some of those peppers, the roasted peppers and the roasted carrots. Really, really delicious. Sort of gives that, that contrast and texture and it's tender, a little bit of a bite. And the coconut cream just adds that extra layer of fresh creaminess to that soup with the fresh cracked pepper adds a little bit of kick and it's just really aromatic really beautiful to look at because it just has amazing colors and definitely have to set aside some of those toppings it makes all the difference just really earthy and literally is just a dish so comforting that i could definitely eat this every day amazing was that easy to make or what just amazing. By the way, if you love easy recipes like this one, then definitely check out and pick up your free ebook that I've put together just for you that has five super easy, unintimidating plant-based recipes to help you get started with cooking today. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out. Plus, in that same link, you can also watch the entire first class of the new plant-based sushi making masterclass. And that masterclass is a series of five classes curated and designed to help you make incredibly delicious, stunning, sushi right at home that is the masterclass you'll really eat up as always remember to subscribe hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode